Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will explain second shifting theorem on inverse Laplace transform. We have to discuss about the statement of this theorem C. So, before discuss about the second shifting theorem on inverse Laplace transform, so let us see the statement of second shifting theorem on Laplace transform. So, what is the statement in Laplace transform? If Laplace transformation of a function f of t is a function of s, then Laplace transformation of Laplace transformation of of the function which is of the form f of t minus a into u of t minus a is equal to e power minus a s into f of s. Otherwise, e power minus a s into L inverse of sorry Laplace transformation of f of s is nothing but L of f of t. So, L of f of t. So, this is the second shifting theorem on Laplace transformation. Say exactly we have to write the inverse of this statement. See, if L inverse of a function of s is a function of t, already know it, suppose a function of s is there, suppose its inverse Laplace is exist finitely, then it is represented by a function of t, then L inverse of, what is the exactly reverse of this? L inverse of e power minus a s into f of s is equal to f of t minus a into u of t minus a, here a is any real number which is here, okay. You should write this a here and here. Here u of t minus a is known as unit step function. I already explained you what is the unit step function in the chapter of Laplace transform. If you do not see the unit step function, once watch that video once. So, then surely you can understand easily this also, okay. I will give you an example on second shifting theorem, see now. So, see the example on second shifting theorem. So, consider the given problem. L inverse of s into e power minus s by 2 plus pi into e power minus s by s square plus pi square is equal to, I will separate the terms because in the numerator we have addition sign, that is why I will write this one as L inverse of, first write exponential term, e power minus s by 2 into s by s square plus pi square plus Again write the e power exponential term first, e power minus s into pi is the remaining term in the numerator, division s square plus pi square, okay. So, this can be written as L inverse of e power minus s by 2 into s by s square plus pi square, okay, plus e power minus s into, sorry, plus L inverse of according to the linear property, I am separating the terms. So, clearly we are observing that both parts are in the form of e power minus a s into f of s. So, whenever given function is in the form of e power minus a s into f of s, immediately we should apply first sh second shifting theorem on inverse Laplace, do not forget it. According to the second shifting theorem on inverse Laplace, what is the formula for this one? f of f of small f of t minus a into u of t minus a. Here also you have to apply same rule f of t minus a into u of t minus a. So, but a value is different in both parts. a value is nothing but coefficient of s. So, what is the coefficient of s in the first part? a is nothing but coefficient of s which is 1 by 2. Do not take a negative sign. So, f of t minus 1 by 2 into u of t minus 1 by 2 plus here also what is a value? a is nothing but coefficient of s here. So, which is 1 only. So, second part is f of t minus 1 into u of t minus 1. Take it equation number 1. So, it is enough to find out the value of f of t in both parts. What is f of s in both parts? Oh, here we have f of s is one term, f of s is another term. So, that is why it is better to take f1 here. 
here f2 f1 and here f2 okay so you can take this is f1 of s and f2 of s what is f1 of s f1 of s means s by s square plus pi square so calculate its l inverse l inverse of f1 of s is equal to l inverse of s by if you are able to write directly then you can write directly here otherwise you can write in detail so it would be cos a t a is nothing but pi so that's why you will get cos pi t you can say this is f1 of t and what is f2 of s here f2 of s is equal to only pi pi is there pi by s square plus pi square one second so calculate its l inverse l inverse of f2 of s is equal to l inverse of pi by s square plus uh, plus pi square it is in the form of l inverse of 1 by s square plus a square 1 by a sin a t that is why 1 by pi sin pi t pi pi gets cancelled you will get only sin pi t so you can say this is f2 of t now substitute these all values in one so you will get l inverse of given problem l inverse of s into e power minus s by 2 plus pi into e power minus s by s square plus pi square is equal to f1 of t f1 of t minus 1 by 2 okay but what is f1 of t cos pi t in this t whenever we have t here replace it by t minus 1 by 2 so you will get cos of pi into t minus 1 by 2 into u of t minus 1 by 2 u of t minus 1 by 2 means it is a unit step function plus here we have to write f t f2 of t minus 1 here we have only f2 of t but we need f2 of t minus 1 so in this t whenever we have t here replace it by t minus 1 so sin of pi into t minus 1 into u of t minus 1 okay in this way we can easily complete the problem this is the example on second shifting theorem don't forget one in one important point when we are applying when we have to apply second shifting theorem on inverse laplace suppose given function is in the form of e power minus a s into some function of s then immediately you should remember the second shifting theorem on inverse laplace thank you very much in the next video i will give some more examples on inverse laplace thank you